How random is the diversity visa lottery? We usually say the selection process of the diversity visa lottery is random. Is it really and the true random selection process? Or there is any way on how you can beat the system? Because there are so many theories, I don't know whether I call it theories, or stories in the street about different ways on how you can find a way to guarantee you to be the winner of the diversity visa lottery. So, let's go and see some of these issues people are rising to say they can beat the system or they can find a way to have a guarantee of winning the diversity visa lottery. Meaning they don't want to say that it is random. For me, I believe it is random. And I'm going to explain in detail some of the things which sometimes cost people the application process. There are people who are trying so hard to apply on the first day or the first hour of the diversity visa lottery application. That's why they want to know at what exactly time when it is known of the East Eastern time or Eastern Standard Time is it in your local time so that they can apply at exactly time. Some of those people believe that if you apply on the first day or the first hour or just overall the first week, whatever it is, you have higher chance of winning. Is it true? The answer no, it's not. The application for the diversity visa lottery is not a rolling basis application. You know when I'm talking about the rolling basis, it's just first come first saved. But the diversity lottery is not that way. And they are not processing anybody before the deadline. So the all application they will be there. On the last day, when it is closed, then they are going to process. And when they are going to process, they are not looking when was this day, this application was conducted or was made. Was it done on the first day or the last day or the middle day? They are not looking that way. Speaking of when or the time of the day when you apply, whether it will be the first day or the middle day or the last day, there are some people think that when you apply at 12.01 or at 12 or whatever time midnight of your time you have more chance of winning so for them they say no it's not random because i know a couple guys who won the DV lottery and all of them they applied at this particular time or they applied on friday so if you apply on friday at midnight or at whatever time zone you have that is the chance of winning The reason of people applying midnight or during the night in your local time is because many people will be sleeping and the internet will be a little bit faster. That is the reason. But it has nothing to do that being midnight has something to do with winning. No. Yes, maybe many people who apply midnight, they are winning. But it's just because you're just applying successful application. During the night, many people are sleeping. That means your internet is faster. Remember, the entire world is not the same. When it is midnight in East Africa, it is 4 p.m. in the U.S. And it is already the next day in Australia. It is maybe, uh, what is midnight over there, it is almost around uh, noon nearby 1 p.m. in California. So the entire world is not midnight, remember that. So your midnight can play on your midnight, but the world is not midnight. It's just you where you are. So don't come with that theory of trying to find a way on how you can beat the system. It is a random selection. So, the time you apply has nothing to do 
whether it's midnight, whether it's during the day. Whether you are applying during the weekday or on the weekend, they are all the same. All applications are received from the first day of the application from noon of the first day in this DV2023 will be from noon of Wednesday, October 6th until noon of November, which will be Tuesday of November 9th. That is the application time, so it doesn't matter. But you are advised not to apply on the last week, even according to the instructions. The reason being, not just because people will not be able to win, because the, everybody will be applying on the last day. So sometimes website is overwhelmed, website becomes slow, and plus your internet might be slow, so plus your internet, and the website being overwhelmed, you might have difficulties to complete or successful apply for the diversity visa lottery. That is the only reason. So we encourage you to apply early, but not to fight on the first day until you make mistakes. You are rushing, you put a wrong email address, wrong spelling of your name, wrong date of birth, wrong passport number, just because you are rushing. Don't rush. That is another point people are bringing, but it's not true. Another part is, if people are saying, if the person who is filling your form is in the United States, or if you are already in the United States, you have higher chances of winning the diversity visa lottery. Is that true? <laughs> I have to laugh first of all that one. No. That's why people are, EBM, please apply for me. Please apply for me. No. Someone being in the United States, either physical or someone feel, is going to feel, the, is going to do the filling of the form for you, it doesn't give you advantage. It doesn't matter whether you are in the country of birth or you are city of birth or you are in another country within your region, or in another country in another region. You can be born and raised in Asia, and being in Asia, apply, or being born and raised in Asia, but you are currently in Europe, or being born and raised in Africa, but currently in, you are in the United States. All those mean nothing. Your participation, your eligibility in the diversity visa lottery is based on the country of birth and not where you are at the time of application. And when you are doing the application, the DV lottery, the data doesn't care, doesn't register. Okay, now Mr. Son so is filling the form, but the person is filling the form is in the United States. They don't care. You can ask someone who is in America, maybe on the last days, maybe your internet is, is, not that, is not that fast, someone to apply for you just because the internet is faster. Not because, oh, because it's in America, it's nearby the kitchen, it's going to get the big piece of the meat. No. And even don't be tempted for the people. Uh, I know there are some people who are saying, oh, I'll just do some, uh, I, I'm, I'm, even in Kentucky, I'll just help you to win. Nobody is going to do a commission or helping. Don't pay anybody just because they're in America. They can be also scammers. Being in America doesn't mean that you cannot scam people. There are some people that are here, they use that advantage to lie to you. Oh, for you, you are thinking that way and you are tempted to give them, oh, just apply, I will pay you. I remember there is one person uh, is in Kenya or whatever, Kenya or Congo, I don't remember the country, was trying to say, I want you to apply for me. I say, it's the same as you apply. Oh, this upcoming lottery, please apply for me, I will even pay. I say, no, you can do the application. I can help you to edit the photo. The person offered a hundred dollar for me to fill the form. So why do you offer me a hundred dollar to fill the form? Something I can do for three, four minutes. It's because someone is believing that if someone is in America, fills that form for you, you are going to win. That's why it's okay to give me a hundred dollar. I said, if you, I can help you if you have the problem with the internet, but not 
thinking that if I fill the form for you, you are going to win because if you don't win, you will come here and complain and say that guy is a scam. That's why I usually don't take money from anyone. I've applied to so many people, even my family, only one has won, but all of them, they have never won the DV lottery. So it's not true that someone in America or someone if you are from Africa and you are in Europe, you are closer, you are going to win. No. The random selection doesn't care where you are at the time of application or what type of the day of the week, when you are going to apply, during the day, during the morning, during the evening, it doesn't matter. So those are just a uh, myth or just some unverified stories and theories which are not true. So, the diversity visa lottery is 100% random. There is another thing, very interesting part. If you are married, you have higher chances of winning. Is it true? <laughs> if you're married, you don't have higher chances. The U.S. government doesn't prefer married over single or single people over married people. Your marital status has nothing to do with you being the winner. Because later we say, oh, if you, are, you have children, you have higher chances than people. So you start like registering people, children, even if they're not yours. No. That's why we see some people are not married, boyfriend and girlfriend. They put married thinking that by saying married, they have higher chances. We usually say when you are married, you have higher chances only if the husband applies as a main applicant said is married and the wife applies also says is married to you meaning those are two applications two chances of winning but the government doesn't prefer one marital status over the other no so don't go and put incorrect marital status thinking that saying you are married you are going to win. No. Saying you are married doesn't give you the chance. Single and married have the same equal chance. Each person is doing one application. No duplicate application. Dupli duplicate application means disqualification. So, that is not true that uh, if you are married, you have higher chances of winning. I want you to understand all these unnecessary theories might cost you to put a wrong information because you think you are going to trick the system. Does the level of education help you to win the diversity visa lottery? If you have doctorate, PhD, masters, are you going to be given higher priority of winning versus someone with a primary education? The answer is no. The selection process of diversity visa lottery is 100% random, meaning it doesn't care whether you have doctorate, two doctorates, three doctorates, you have master's, you have bachelor degree, you have JD, Juris doctor, you have bachelor degree, you are a medical doctor, you are engineer. They don't care what is your profession. First of all, in the lottery application, there is no any place you can put your profession. There is no any place you can put the number of years of work experience. The only thing you can put on your application is just to, to tick or to highlight, to select among the level of education which are there. Primary school, high school no diploma, high school diplo with a diploma. Then uh, vocational, uh, and, uh, uni university education, which is university degree. Some college or some university courses, masters, some graduate courses, doctorate, some doctorate courses. That's all. You just tick. But going to tick incorrect doesn't give you any advantage. Remember, the randomly selection 
is not a merit-based immigration. American immigration is not merit-based immigration, just like in Canada. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and some of the, uh, in England, they have some merit or point-based system that if you have doctorate, if you have masters and masters in engineering, you have, you are going to be given permanent residence of Canada through express entry. But the United States doesn't care about that when it comes to the diversity visa lottery. The eligibility is the country of birth. Is your country among the eligible country to apply for the diversity visa lottery? But in the selection process, they are not looking the work experience because even there is no number of working experience. There is no looking of education. There is no looking of the profession. Once you win, when you go to the interview, yes, at that time they will look your education, your work experience, your profession, your background to be given the visa. That's why when you win, when you fill the visa form, when Kentucky Consular Center requests even for the documents, they are not requesting education or work experience. Those documents will be determined by the consular officer in your country during the visa interview. So, for the people who are not educated with the higher education, don't feel that you, you are not the winner just because you didn't go to high school. Just because you don't have many years of work experience. Just because you ended in primary school. It has nothing to do with that. I know people who have or who had primary school education and they're winners. I know so many people with the PhDs have never won the DV lottery over five years of application. I know people with master's degree over nine years of application have, haven't won the DV lottery. I know people with just high school their first time to apply for the diversity visa lottery have won the DV lottery and they are here in the United States. So, the application is 100% random. Doesn't care any of those factors. So, when people apply, the selection is like this way. The countries are divided into region. Or rather, each continent is given as a region. Africa, one region. Asia, another region. Europe, another region. Oceania, another region. North America, another region. Latin America, whatever, South America, whatever, another region. So, six region. That's number one. So, you are divided by each region. Then, each region there are countries there. No country is above to exceed 6-7% of the total winning. Though each one region is only supposed to exceed uh, maybe over 6 whatever percent they have the percentage. But if you look in the end, Africa is Africa is the continent or is the region with the higher